Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, my partner and I will be presenting about our uh, about the article with title "Wonders of the World Angkor Kamboja." Before we start it, uh, I would like to pre I would like to introduce ourselves. My name is Anissa Molidia Putri. Uh, my name is Selvi Oktar Dianti. Okay, now let's start uh, the presentation. Next slide, please. So, uh, in this article, we have already summarized uh, six points about Angkor, Cambodia. Uh, the first three points will be explained by me, and the last six point and the last uh, three points will be presented by Selfie. So, the first one is towering achievement. The five uh, intricately carved towers of Angkor Wat, the tallest rising to 65 meters high, dominate the skyline of Angkor, concentrated around 1,150 uh, 1, as a temple to the Hindu god Vishnu and a uh, mausoleum of Khmer King Surya Warma No. 2. The world's largest religious uh, monument is adorned with bas relief uh, depicting uh, scenes from Hindu epics and more than 300 aspar apsaras, or as we all know, holy names. But this magnificent temple, uh, now uh, we all know as a Buddhist shrine, is merely one of dozens in the city origin originally known as Yasodharapura, centerpiece of the civilization of northern Cambodia that at its medieval peak ruled much of what's now we, we know as Thailand, Laos, and southern Vietnam. Though never lost to locals, Angkor was revealed to the Western world only through the writings and drawings of botanist and explorer Henry Mohot, published uh, postum posthumously in 1864. Uh, 108, and now the second point is life imitates art. In one in 889 century, King Yasovarma number no. one moved his capital to Yasodharapura. Uh, today, we all know as Angkor on the fertile plain of the Tonle Sap, or we all know as Great Lake. Extraordinary best relief carvings at various temples here offer insights into everyday life in the empire. Those on the Bayon depict scenes of gambling, medicine, childbirth, and commerce. This particular one depicts a fish market. And then the, the third one is establishing an empire. This time when stored animals at Srah Damre, uh, the elephant pond are among the treasures of Nom Kulen, 25 miles northeast of Angkor Wat. On this hill in uh, Jayawarman number no. two declared himself his first Dewaraja or God King of a united Khmer state and founded Mahendra Parvata, capital of what would become the Angkor Empire, the enormous extent of which is only being revealed. The fourth uh, a point will be continued by Selfie. Okay, the next one is Angles by Nature. The Buddhist monastery of Tapong pictures clearly overwhelmed by the roots and tendrils of kapuk trees was constructed around 1186 at the peak of the empire by Jayawarman No. 7, who replaced Hinduism with Buddhism as the state religion. This huge monastery had 18 high priests and 2740 officials and was the admit administrative center for a highly organized health care system that includes 102 hospitals across the kingdom. The next one is Fesh Pelu. Uh, the, the Bayan adorned with 216 enigmatic faces, each representing a Buddhist satwa, enlightening being, and possibly also Jayawarman number no. 7 was Angkor's last major temple built in the late 12th and early 13th countries. Historians long believe that the empire collapsed following its shaking by Siamese forces in 14th 
31. But new cities hidden beneath fields and forests suggest a suggest a course complex might have been unable to cope with long-term climatic variation. The last one is guarded by God. Jayawarma number no. seven, grandiose walled city Angkor Thom, built in the late 12th century, covered nine several kilometers and was protected by eight meter high stone walls. A hundred meter long causeway to the south gate is guarded by these 54 stone gods and 54 demons. The Portuguese Antonio da Magdalena gave a detailed account of his visit to the city in 1586. As recounted by Diogo de Couto, the city is surrounded by a moat crossed by fifth bridges. These have on each side a curtain held by giants. Their ears are all pierced and are very long. There are written in lines which record that the city. These temples and other things were built by the other of 20 kings over a period of 700 years. That's all. Okay, next slide, please. So, uh, does this article have anything to do with life? Uh, for us, yes, this article have anything to do with life because Angkor Wat is a historical legacy that has many similarities to the Borobudur Temple in Indonesia. They are a place of worship for Buddhists. It was built during the Kingdom of Suyawarma No. 2. Angkor Wat and Borobudur Temple also have similarities in their relief buildings, both depicting human life. They are also among the largest religious structures ever built. They both have guards at the gate. Borobudur Temple is guarded by a lion statue at the front gate, while Angkor Wat is believed to be guarded by 55, uh, 54 gods and 54 demons on the Shorten Gate crossing. Angkor Wat and Borobudur Temple both have aesthetic value in their buildings. Next slide, please. So our opinion about this uh, article will be explained further by Selfie. Okay, our thought about the article. Uh, uh, we know Angkor Wat is the largest place of worship in Cambodia. This place was preserved by the surrounding community, which makes Angkor Wat a sacred place for local residents, even though it is also a tourist place. In our opinion, what the local people have done is very good because they still preserve the greatest historical heritage even though the place has been used as a tourist spot the people there have not forgotten the original purpose of the building also tourists can add knowledge about buddhism and the history of past life through the reliefs contained in this building okay that's all for our presentation thank you so much for watching Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.